Hey everybody, um, I wanted to share something with y'all, and uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, and everybody's freaking out, and uh, all this coronavirus stuff, and all this, you know, not everybody, okay, I just want to say not everybody's freaking out, um, yes, I do have the flu, um, yes, I was feeling like I was dying and needed to go to the hospital, because I had symptoms and um, fever, coughing, all this stuff, and I used wisdom and went to the doctor, and um, you know they did the test and said that I had the flu, and I've been on Tamiflu and <laughs> coughing medicine and all this chicken noodle soup and all this other stuff, and so praise God, He's healing me, bringing me right on through. He's good. Um, that to the side, you know, President Trump got on there earlier and announced all that about um, everything basically uh, you know you can't um, gather in groups of more than ten um, or he just he's a bandit I don't think but he just discourages it and um, I'm not good remembering exact words but uh, basically he, he he didn't think it's a good idea and uh, they're trying to just go ahead and uh, let this virus down out the smartest way that man knows how and so he's trying to do a good job doing that listening to all the experts and everything um, but um, y'all yeah, with all that going on I gotta tell y'all what happened last night um, having trouble sleeping and uh I mean not, not y'all not because of all this stuff God is in control he has got us you know and even if things get really bad okay doesn't revelation say it's gonna get bad in places and we're gonna go through things but he's never gonna leave us he's never gonna forsake us he will be with us we this is just our temporary place anyway so um Oh, we've got to rest in His peace. And we've got to know that we're okay in Him no matter what. You know, we've got to be prayed up. we just got to know, you know, if you don't have that peace, why don't you right now go ahead and just, God, and just ask Him, Lord, please, give me your peace. It's His peace that you need. Um, but anyway, I was, you know, this, all this medicine, this Tamiflu, it makes me feel sick. It just, ugh, I don't like it. All this other stuff going on, you know, just, I just was laying there, um, in the bed, tossing and turning, having trouble falling asleep, couldn't fall asleep, did not go to sleep until after five this morning, but, um, and I should have just posted it last night, I don't know why I didn't, it's just, it was a lot, and, uh, I don't want to wake Joseph up and all that, but, um, I was laying there, a lot awake, but I had my eyes closed. Y'all can speculate or whatever. I was not asleep. And I was laying there. And I had my eyes closed. I wasn't thinking about anything. I wasn't praying or talking to him. And then all of a sudden. I like. I saw his face. Or like of what we would see. And think his face. He would, he would maybe look like. You know the beautiful version or whatever. You know what. I would think that maybe he looked like. And then I saw all these angels so many angels behind him all at once just there it was and I and I heard these trumpets like sounding in the background but they weren't like blaring they weren't like I almost had to really listen to what what is that sound is is that trumpets that I hear what? But actually, that was after the fact. I was like, Did, "Was that trumpets that I heard?" Because I saw his face. I saw that uh, heavenly host of angels um, behind him, and he said to me, so softly, so sweetly, kind of like my mom used to be when she used to wake me up when I was little. He said my name. He said, "Um." Wendy, and then he said, um, he said, I'm coming.
coming. Are you ready? And he said it in such a way. There was no fear in his voice. There was no panic. There was no none of that. There was, it was just, it was joy. It was excitement. It was like, hey, pay attention. You listen. I'm, I'm coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? And even though, y'all, like, we can see the signs. I, oh, y'all don't know. I am striving every single day to stay ready. And, and just, God, keep my garments clean. I'm not perfect. Oh, I mess up. God, forgive me. Help me to never do that again, God. Show me what I could be doing. Show me what I should be doing. Uh, help me read your word more. Help me pray more, God. Just help me. You know, I'm, I'm trying to stay abiding, stay connected in them. I don't, I don't want to be left behind. I'm praying for everybody, anybody with eyes, <laughs> any kind of spiritual eyes, or spiritual eyes, you know, can see. He, he, it won't be long. <laughs> but even with Jesus being sweet to me and saying my name, and it wasn't like a, a question like, are you ready? Like it, but just him saying, "Are you ready?" Like it was like, "God, am I ready? Oh, am I ready, God? Oh, if there's anything, God, Lord, please, oh, help me, God, help us all to be ready, cause He's ready. He's ready. He's waiting on God." to send him on after us but I just I wanted to share that with y'all and I just want to just kind of remind y'all y'all can take whatever y'all want from that if God tells y'all something on your own but one thing I noticed he barely spoke above a whisper and we're if we're not careful and we get caught up in all this stuff all this news all this panic all this stuff we're not going to be able to hear him if we don't get alone and quiet in a dark or, or like a secret place along with him and just get still before him to where he can talk to us, we might not be able to hear what he says. We might, you know, we don't need to get so caught up in some stuff that we forget who we are in him. We forget that he warned us about these things. And he gave us his promises. He, he, I mean, all the things that he did, all the stripes he took for our healing, y'all. We shouldn't be freaking out. God's got us, you know. And heaven forbid I say one of us gets the coronavirus. Heaven forbid I say one of us passes away with the coronavirus. Well, don't say that. Well, why not? Now, Let's be real. God is still God. He is still on the throne. He is still able. He gives and He takes away. Now we got to make up our minds, people. Are we going to serve Him or not? Now we're going to have to serve Him every day. It don't matter what's going on around him, us. It don't matter. Y'all, He's the answer to everything. But just like Job said, though he slay me, yet I will serve him. We got we got to get our heads out the TV. Oh, we need to just breathe. It's going to be okay. Because you know what? <laughs> Y'all know what Jesus told me? <laughs> he said he's coming. And he said, are you ready? I'm going to touch on one more thing. I'm going to read something. Um... <clears throat> It's uh, out of Luke 18. I know I look horrible, y'all. I've been shut off in this room trying to... Ugh. But anyway. It says, And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, save one. That is God. So he gave God glory and everything. That's what we should be doing. Thou knowest the commandments. Don't commit, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor the father and the mother. And he said, oh, 
All these I've kept from my youth up. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor, and, shalt, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. And when he heard this, he was sor very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, how hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Okay. And then it says, And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. i got to tell you one more thing about that word impossible. I seen this on Facebook last night. Now, I mean, maybe y'all have heard this before. But I hadn't that I knew of, and if I had, I had forgotten, okay? You take the word impossible. I bet if I do this, y'all can't see it. Oh, nope, it's backwards. Or maybe not when I flip around. Impossible. I am P O S S I B L E. Break it down. Impossible is I'm possible. I'm going to say that again impossible that word happens when you put two words together the words I'm impossible do I need to go a little further okay I will I don't mind I'm if you break that word down <laughs> mm, it's I am y'all I know the great I am okay Do y'all have to say anything else? Do y'all got this? I mean, a whole sermon can be preached on that alone. I'm probably not going to be good to try to break that down. Surely y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Somebody just, okay. But anyway, the point about the whole thing with the guy that had the money. Okay. And he, he had done all these other things. He thought, oh, I'm a good Christian guy, man. I did this. I did that. You know, I'm, I'm good. I, yeah, I honored my mother and father since I was born. Did that. Yeah, I'm on it. And Jesus said, yeah, you, you did. But um, you're caught up in your money so much that uh, you're, you're looking around here. And, and you don't really have anything up there. No, no money in heaven, see. No, no treasures in heaven to even look forward to. Like basically he was saying, it said, uh, it said, Yet lackest thou one thing, so all that thou hast distributed to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. It's like, hmm. And come, follow me. See, you can you can be a good old country boy. You can be a good old country girl. You know, you can be a papa and mama knowing the word your whole life. And you can do the commandments, but if you really don't know him and you're not listening to his voice and you're not truly following him if you don't have that relationship with him if you have if if your money is, a, is something that could be a stumbling block say all the stuff on the news they're talking about all these jobs and 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 i mean I, my brain hadn't gone as far as is 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 you know down the road with all the effects of this there's no way i could possibly even try but i could see i can see where this could go i mean you know, it, it's looking bad for everybody, financially wise, but at the same time, we serve a great big God, <laughs> and He meets our needs, and He takes care of us, and so, I think what Jesus was trying to say was, if you'll just follow me, and not worry, and be so caught up in your, your worldly money, and your monies, and your riches, and, and all those things, then, um, you, you got it, that's it, that's the only thing. But the man was sorrowful, and he couldn't do that. So I guess one of the things that um, I've been, you know, concerned about with different people is how many people with these these good-paying jobs, you know, that love God, serve God, go to church, do whatever, you know, call themselves Christians, believe they're Christians. When it comes to the 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 test of finances, finances are messed up. Are we are we still gonna serve God? when the when the jobs are are like when everything's turned upside down when money is affected are, are we still going to follow him 
if that's something that concerns you, if that's something that, like, is like, wow, I, honestly, I need help in that area. I, I don't know that. I mean, I don't know. I've never had to deal with that. Then all you got to do is pray. All you got to do is ask God and say, God, I, you see my heart. You know where I'm at right now. This stuff is freaking me out. I've got kids to feed. I've got bills to pay. I've got, I don't even know how all this stuff is, is going to work out. And I, I just, ugh, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a good job. There's nothing wrong with, with making good money. But your trust shouldn't be there in that. Your trust should be in Him. And if the money stays, praise God. And if the money goes, praise God. It's a hard thing to say. It's even harder to live. But, you know, in that same chapter, he said, th just right before that, he said, I'll scroll up a little, Luke 18, he said, um, Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah, it's up to us. I sure, I sure want to be found believing in him, believing that he is who he says he is, and he's gonna do what he says he's gonna do. And and no coronavirus or any virus or any shutting down of any facility or or anything that would affect any finances or, or jobs or anything is gonna change that. He's on the throne, y'all. Mm, and he said. He's coming. He wants to know if we're ready. Are you ready? Y'all, we gotta pray. And if you are, if you're ready, <laughs> praise God. But look around you. Does anybody else need to hear this? You know, um, just, you know, if you're a Christian, don't, don't keep your mouth quiet. People are freaking out. If you know the word, if you know the truth, don't, you know, it's, it's okay to make jokes and stuff, but, how, you know, we could be using our social media for a little bit more than just what we're doing. And I'm not putting anybody down. No, my fuss at me. I'm just simply saying, let's, let's, um, you know, let's try a little harder here to come together and um, encourage each other. There's some, there's, there's some lost people out there right now that are probably doing a lot more praying than they have in a long time. And I would think that the harvest is uh, is ready. But uh, is there enough laborers? Well, what can I do? Well, prayer is a powerful thing. Um, you can fast. You can reach out. You can just tell somebody, you know, hey, I, I know everybody's freaking out, but uh, you know the reason I'm not panicking as much. I can't say it happens up over me a time or two. Do you know where my solid rock foundation piece is? Let me tell you about it. I mean, that's a conversation starter right there. Is that something that you can, you know, you know, or even if you are struggling, hey, you know, I'm kind of struggling with this too, but I know God wants us to walk in faith. Let's pray together. How about we pray for each other? Now we got to come together. He's coming back. I'm excited. You know, my spirit's excited. And um, I just wanted to share this with y'all. And I love y'all. And I thank everybody for praying for me. Um, you know, to get over this flu and stuff. But I, I, oof. I, I love the time that I have gotten to, to spend along with him in his word. Um, ooh, he's good. You know, Romans 8, 28, he'll take those bad things. And he'll turn around and good. And I've got to spend some time with my father, much needed. Like time you know so anyway I just want to share that with y'all I love y'all it's going to be okay I promise no, forget my promise he said <laughs> that's the one you believe read the end of the book you'll see